what do you think the conversation is uh, amongst league management? Carl Sheffers, who's the head ref of Super Bowl 57. Walt Anderson, who's a, a successor of yours in the role of being in charge of officiating. Troy Vincent, in uh, charge of operations and football operations. What, what is the conversation being had about replay assist and about the officiating this past weekend, knowing the conversation that surrounded officiating coming out of Championship Sunday? What are they talking about going into the big game? Well, I mean, listen, I mean, you're going to give the same old conversation, which is officiate the game as you would during the regular season. This, you know, the the talk about let's not call fouls, let's let them play just doesn't happen. But the conversation will be had about, you know, there's added pressure on it now. That's just the way it is. When you get into the playoffs, what you do in the regular season, officiating-wise, is forgotten. And often what you do in the playoffs um, is forgotten if the Super Bowl goes smooth. Um, and so there's that added pressure of that. But I think the, one of the conversations will not be so much with the um, officials – on the field it's going to be with that use of video assist or expedited review Mm -hmm. i mean how can how can we make sure we don't overuse it i mean i don't think there's been an issue to in my mind about underusing it i mean because they have changed things when they have the time to do it and when they have the clear shot but let's not get involved with you know changing things that that really don't have impact on a play. If they award a first down and you've got a clear immediate shot that it's short by half a yard, change it. If you've got a sideline catch that is ruled a catch for a 15-yard gain and you've got a clear shot that the second foot never came down, change it. But if you've got a, a, a yard off on a punt return or if you've got a yard off on a spot out of bounds when it's going to be third and nine versus third and eight and a half, don't get involved. Let's 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 concern ourselves with the flow of this game and not get overly involved with the outside sources, with the replay official, the video assist, New York expedited review. Let's let's use some common sense. Okay, uh, and, and then let's hope, by the way, right. let's hope by the way for the Super Bowl that the chains don't break for the <sighs> what third was that? time in the playoffs. What was that? Holy cow. Come on. I'm, I think I'm becoming now an advocate of let's get rid of the change and go to digital, um, even though I love the old guys running out and putting <laughs> the old stakes down in the ground. But twice it breaks in the playoff and we have to unravel a alternate set of chains let's just don't have that message. well i mean let's just have an alternate set of chains unraveled on time right i mean it's yeah, a simple like that's what other game we what other we'll what other game are we waiting two sets for? Of down the lineman and chain right. on the sideline and then of course uh the, the news from wednesday that tom brady's retiring and again we we we, we assume he is coming to the booth and, and if that does happen he'll be next to you do you have any history with him at all um, you Mike? know, one time I was really kind of excited because one time when I was the head of officiating, mm-hmm. um, I went to a game in Foxborough, mm-hmm. and Brady Brady came um, Brady came on the field as he does running out in the field and kind of runs around the perimeter of the field and he was he was running um, toward me. I was just standing there, and he as he ran by me looked at me and said hi, Mike, and that was it for me. I felt like well, Tom's my best friend. <laughs> So that's the relationship, all that's it? total relationship that, that I have had with him so far. That's it? Okay. And now, did he know you from your work on NFL Network, do you think, with you and I you chopping know, it up? What do you think? Stopped, if he would have stopped, he would have said, hey, Mike, I'm telling you, Total Access with Rich Eisen was hey, like the best video of l- all time. Laugh. It was must see. I used to sit and watch it all the time. Laugh all you want. All the players did watch us chop it up on official review because it was so new to have the head of NFL fi- officials, the sitting head of NFL officials, talk about the controversial plays from the previous week. That's a fact. I remember Matthew Hasselbeck was so upset after Super Bowl 40 that you didn't make your usual appointed round right after the Super Bowl and he thought it was because you were ducking it and that we were hiding it because we were the NFL's channel is how he called me at the Pro Bowl he was so upset and I think it's because you went on vacation uh, scheduled but then you did it the following week if I'm not mistaken yes, because, Mike. Uh, 
24 hours, well, less than 24 hours. I think it was about 20 hours after the end of that game, I was in Costa Rica. <laughs> so nobody nobody knew how to find me. And when I did come back right. to the league, and Greg Aiello said to me, um, from now on, you might think about waiting a full day before you go on a vacation. I, said, okay, I remember I that, man. See, I remember it, and the players watched it. They watched it. They saw it. You know, so well in reality, I think you have to take some credit too. Oh, I'm doing that. Although people may not like this, but you know, have to take credit that really when it comes to the NFL, you were my first foray into television. I mean the the Fox people who I worked with each and every year but Mm -hmm. not on television, you were the the first time that um, you were the first person that I got involved with in television. Mm -hmm. So Probably I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, and so people can blame you. That I, am here. <laughs> I will take all the calls right here on the Rich Eisen Show, <laughs> like yours right here. Thanks for the call here, Mike. Appreciate it, man. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 